I have an amazing idea for a Christmas movie. It's a Christian family. They're losing the Christmas spirit. Kids, they're like on TikTok. The dad is like depressed. And it's Christmas time and they're always bickering. The kid tries to put on like a Christmas movie and the dad's like, turn that shit off. We're watching the news. The daughter's crying. She's like, I hate Christmas. And then somewhere in like the Middle East. I was hoping you guys know that. <laughs> There's like a Muslim family and like they're very traditional, but the kids, they love Western I yeah. ideology. They're on TikTok. They're like, this looks so great. <laughs> oh, snowman and Christmas and Jesus. And the dad's like, give me that sh The kid is like, I hate being Muslim. <laughs> and then there's like a lightning strike in the North Pole and they switch bodies. The kids learn how horrible Western society <laughs> is. <laughs> this is how Osama bin Laden <laughs> became Osama bin Laden. A halal Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Gabriel? You just walked 50 minutes because you didn't yeah. want to take your car. Yeah, that's very... That is... I'm like a hero. Y well, I'm like a yeah. hero. I'm yeah. like, I'm saving... Uh, More like a hero. Hero. <laughs> I'm half pasta, half hero. How can one man... All right. It yeah, must feel good, though. You must feel yeah. like an explorer well, walking in the snow. Yesterday, I walked Claire to school. Uh, I, and so that, that's like a 45 minute walk mm -hmm. and I walked back and then I dug out my car for an hour and I was like, you have like, a six pack yet? No, I don't absolutely not. But, uh, <laughs> and, and I was supposed to go to the gym that day, but I didn't cause I was so sweaty and tired. I was like, I can't. Yeah. yeah well, I, you did the gym and I woke up today very sore and I was like, it's a good feeling. Like an old guy. Are you taking magnesium? I heard magnesium and zinc. Oh are yeah. Sure. I think I have magnesium somewhere in, in my yeah. yeah, I think I have like oh, magnesium. I said bad words in the first five no, minutes. No, well, I'll bleep. <laughs> 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 uh, please do yeah. i don't think they they consider youtube videos about like anatomy yeah must be like oh my god we can't the ai must think this is hardcore yeah, yeah. well uh, does he know that it's not sex i i think uh youtube educational things get a pass uh, right like did you see that dude that we are educational. Yeah, we're educational. We're Hi. <laughs> oh, wait. How am I teaching kids? <laughs> You're teaching kids. Hello, adults. Uh, today, Hello. we are going to learn about Gabriel's health yes. regimen. Yes. Okay. Ra Gabriel, you've been taking care of your health lately. A little bit. I've been eating. Hello, world. I've been eating uh, normally. Uh, but uh, what I was going to say is that these educational videos can pass off as anything, right? Oh. Like, did you see the video about the gay guy? That's teaching other gay guys how to be a better gay guy. Have Matt Rife's less special? <laughs> yeah, Matt, Matt Rife. <laughs> yeah. I'm funny. just digging on him because he's popular. <laughs> yeah, no, and he's cute. And so, uh, so there's, this gay, there's this gay dude on the internet that on YouTube that, like, he did a video on how to, like, wax your ass. Right? This is for real. And okay. he's able to show his so everything can see his and his balls. And everything, and his penis, and it's allowed on YouTube because it's considered educational. Because he's, it, it starts out like, "Hey guys, I'm going to teach you this." this Straight is, face. Yeah, 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 yeah. No laughing matter mm. in, in in his demeanor at all. And he does a bunch of like how to do your pubes, how to do like uh, how to like make your like thicker if really? you want to go on a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you send me that link? Just yeah. so, I can see. <laughs> so you can get to for educational yeah, purposes. Exactly. So that's that. If we could do that, we could say things like. So, <laughs> so we have to be educational. Yeah, a little bit educational. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just. I think it's too late now. We have to start from the beginning. You have to start a new. Oh, a new. That <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> cool. It was a good day at school. It was a good day at school. That's what I do. Yeah. Okay. So let let me do a coming out right now. Some of you know I teach children. Yes. I teach children. That's yeah. my part time job. I know it will surprise many people listening to this, <laughs> but I do. Kids. And they're growing up. They've been. I've been with them for oh, a few years. Wow. So they're starting to develop like a personality. And I have a student. She is one of the smartest human being I ever taught. Oh, like really? I'm, I'm useless. I'm just there for her to just. Okay, buy. <laughs> that's so cool. And uh, she said once a joke, and I laughed. So she's like, "I'm gonna tell a joke at every class." Oh. Okay. So now she tells me a joke at every class. Do you want to hear? Yeah, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> that's really yeah, cute. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. So. I'm I'm gonna I didn't write word per word, okay. so I'm I'm gonna like you amor it. I'm gonna amor it a oh, little bit. Okay, okay, but yeah. the punchline is theirs. Wait. Do you wanna hear the first one? Yeah, I'll give you the first one. Sure, give me. I wanted to make toast with jam, but I wanted all the colors of the rainbow. So I had raspberry jam and uh, orange jam and lemon jam. Guess which type of jam I didn't put on my toast? Which jam? Traffic jam. <laughs> She's ChatGPT. 
<laughs> no, that's she, she told good. me she wrote it. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cute. And it's English. Yeah, and, it's, yeah, yeah. and it's like, get it. That's great. She's going to grow. She's going to grow. She can become like the Dude. president of the United, United States Dude, if she gets. I, I am here and I'm dying. That's laughing. great. That's so nice. Here, here's another one okay, she told yeah. me. She's like, my friend told me to uh, make her mittens. So I made her mittens, but she didn't like them. Guess why? Why? Because they were bad mittens. <laughs> Dude, yeah. she's like Dimitri Martin. <laughs> <laughs> she's, <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. And I'm, the fuck? She's like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm dying laughing. Oh, this, this is that's really cute. Th- this is hmm. a seven, seven to nine year old that's child. Well, give me another joke. Uh, oh, I have another student. I'm like, uh, I think his name is uh, what's his name? Andrew. I'm like, Andrew, you look tired today. He's like, yes, I am very tired because you know they study for 15 yeah. hours a day. He's, I'm like, uh, what did you eat today? He's like, I want to eat my pillow. <laughs> Because he's tired. He wants to sleep. <laughs> oh, these kids are I'm great. like, these kids, are, they're, be, they're... That's amazing. That's so cute. Yeah. I, I used to teach uh, kids online, too, uh, a long time ago. And uh, it was like, like, if I were to do it now, I would be, like, probably, like, way more responsible. And I would go to bed at a reasonable hour. And I would know how to... Really? No. <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't know. I, th- th- oh, no, you know. Well, but you change your whole life. Or, like, yeah. So that's different. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So you do wake up like. Yeah, I, I, I'm i usually very rarely tired. When yeah, I yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would like go to bed at 2 a.m. and wake up at 4 a.m. and then be like drunk still <laughs> and then teach kids right, and then pass out. Yeah. And then I would like smoke to put myself to sleep and (laughs) and then I would wake up and be like, hey, and then that would be my day there, you know, and I'd be like, God, I got to do it all over again. (laughs) It was horrible. But uh, there was these, some of these kids, it would be like one-on-one classes and there was uh, a couple of kids that I remember that didn't make an impact, but like, I'll I'll, I'll never forget them. One of them I totally forgot actually, but (laughs) one of them, his name is Blue. His name is Blue and... uh, he was like on his way to go to uh, college in somewhere in the United States. Oh right? wow! Okay, he was like sixteen or something, and he was like a big nerd. Right? Like yeah. he was dorky, and he was all like no confidence, just like always sad. So he made his name Blue. That's how sad <laughs> he was. And and I'm not there to boost his confidence. I'm just there to just be a guy to hang with. Like I'm not gonna be like, listen, man. Like I'm, g- I'm not here to fix your problems. I'm just here to hang out. How old was he? He's 15, 16, okay. you know. And so he was telling me about like, like, oh, what's what's university like? I'm like, I'm just be honest. I'm like, it's it's cool. You make friends, you drink, you party. That he's like, what? What did what about study? I'm like, huh? What what? <laughs> what about study? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I guess yeah. There's that too. And he's like, okay. And he's like, but I need to to do good in my studies. And I'm like, dude. You're, I'm like, dude, you're smarter right now than like every single person I met <laughs> in my university. Like, ba- like he, he's already but a you genius. Know, you know what he's saying? He's saying, if I don't study, I'm going to end up like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to end up teaching kids on the yeah. computer. That's, I, I should study so hard so I don't have to I, teach dude, so kids funny. on it. <laughs> I remember I did a class with this guy and like he said he was um, like he was so – I thought he didn't like me because I was just like being kind of just – like he was like uh, – Always and I'm always, and I was kind of like trying to like b- make jokes. And yeah. screw, I wasn't following the course thing at all because he it was like a kid's course yeah, thing. Yeah, but he was older. He yeah. was older, and I was like, I'm not doing this. And so, and then he's like, Thank you, and he closes. And then two minutes later, I open up my whole schedule is this kid. <laughs> so I'd be like, Dude, because I would open my schedule f- yeah. for 24 hours, right? Yeah. Thinking, okay, I need I need to book up because yeah. I only get. But he booked me for eight hours straight. So it's me and this kid on the weekend for eight hours, and he booked me way in advance. And I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, for eight hours? I swear to God, like you on, became his dad, dude. On Saturday and Sunday, it was just me and him. And I'm like, dude. And I would have closed it if I, I thought it would. What did you talk about? For I hours? was like, no idea. So we just became like, like cellmates basically at this point. We're like, oh my god, like we talk, I don't know. We were talking about Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, just ran. That's just good. I was just leaning back. I was like, so you know, man, life's like this, dude. <laughs> I listen to CDs, man. I don't like Spotify. <laughs> Weird. It was crazy. It was me, man, me and Blue. Insane. And yeah. And th- are you still in touch, or that's no. like sh- forever? No, no. I uh, You're spending eight hours a day with. I him. remember I'll, at one point I was like, I hate this job. I need to leave this yeah. job. So I just like. I just deleted my account. Yeah. 
Like, no, I made sure I got paid. And the day I got paid, I deleted my account. Yeah. And then I remember the week after I got another job doing video editing for okay. the first time. So I was like, I'm out of here. Done. <laughs> didn't you, didn't, I didn't you didn't quit. You didn't. You didn't quit. Well, the company. I, I had the face. I was with the Facebook group that yeah. with that company, and every single day there'd be someone being like, "This company's going bankrupt. <laughs> Everything's yeah. getting done. The CEO committed." Like all this crazy. I'm like, censor that word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, "What do you want? Like, yeah. who am I going to report to? Like, am I gonna, am I going to get in trouble with China? Like, no, so I no, just deleted no. my. And I said, "I'm going to make sure I'm going to." Cut, burn this bridge so I know I never <laughs> go back to it. And so I burnt it and I left. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah. But just so you know, that feeling like, oh, the company's burning down. There's a every job, yeah. every job that I ever had in my life ever where I wasn't my own boss, mm -hmm. that was the general feeling that the company yeah, instilled. Always. We're not making enough money. They're cutting jobs. Yeah. The economy is bad. Like yeah. I talk now to with friends who mm -hmm. have like corporate jobs. Oh, really? It's like, oh, man, the economy is bad. We're not making like. That feeling is everywhere. Yeah. I think this is how companies keep you working. You're like, yeah. oh, you're not going to take risks and quit it. Yeah. The economy is so bad. It's so scary outside. At least here you have a salary. You're good. You know it's what I mean? It's funny that they're they trying scare to scare you. Yeah, I know. They, they can't threaten you to work hard by firing you anymore. No. They have to threaten you by telling you it's the apocalypse yeah. now, yeah. which is really like yeah. twisted. It's kind of like- and It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, guess how many people like look around you? How many people you know have Dude, corporate jobs? Dude, hundred percent. I'm like my uh, most like, of our listeners have like corporate yeah. a nine to five jobs. Or, yeah, just regular. Yeah. But you come from a wild family. Your mom's an independent worker. She's a hairdresser. Yeah, but she works for one. No, I know. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. But she your gets her dad own is the OG. Yeah, he's the <laughs> he's the OG. I think he's hung <laughs> on a tree somewhere. But. <laughs> yeah, but he never had a you know. My my dad too never yeah. had a boss. My dad's like I'm gonna be a cab driver. I'm yeah. I don't want anyone giving me orders. Yeah. So you just have it in your line. Like I don't want to be. But my brother, he works for he works for a corporate. Uh, yeah. Thing. You see, my brother, my sister works for a corporate job. My brother works for the government, which mm -hmm. is it's different. You know, it's a pretty yeah. cool job. Yeah. Well paid. It's not like people complain. Like right now, I don't know if you know, there's protests outside for people for the the, the teacher union. <laughs> uh, teachers, yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. There's another, I think, union who's also on strikes. Oh whatever. yeah. I think so, but I know the teachers yeah. union is striking. Oh okay. And uh, the older I get, I'm like, yeah. Union. Yeah. You need you need a union. But what's so, like, they take a lot of your money, though. You don't yeah. even read. Like, Claire's yeah. like, what am I paying this? Like, I'm paying like well, yeah, 10%. Well, of she, she comes from like, a, yeah, but we need, she comes from a country where they have a queen. I'm not going to yeah, listen to I her know, about the workers' rights, okay? <laughs> she thinks having a queen who owns the most land in your country is totally normal. Well, maybe not her, but other people, other whiter. But that's what she's <laughs> used to, you yeah. know? No, no, unions are important, man. Yeah. Uh, because you're going to get screwed either way, mm -hmm. right? Either it's going to be the boss who's going to screw yeah. you or your own people are going to screw you by taking a lot of money, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. You got to grease some hands. There's always going to be corruption in all sides. I heard like so Elon. it's better to be on, on your side. Yeah, like Elon Musk, whatever, whatever, however you feel about the guy. Like I think that guy kind of is crazy. But like uh, he uh, doesn't have a union, right? Yeah. With, so, But what he does apparently to like – job security thing he gives people who is seniority like uh, uh stock options that's smart. in their company so that's smart. i don't know i don't know if that's better or worse but uh whatever listen unions are for really high skill jobs yeah because you're like oh we're there's not many of us who can do what we do mm -hmm. so we're going to unionize we're going to be strong together and you have to pay us a lot of money for our skills yeah or for people who have like Man, if I lose the job, I'm gonna be homeless. Like low skilled workers or whatever, yeah. whatever you call them. Like, uh, because there's a lot of profit to be made with people mm -hmm. when you pay them like ten bucks an hour or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So no, unionize, get that money. Get it, get yeah. that money. <clears throat> uh, speaking of, uh, I guess it's not really related at all. Uh, how do I get in? Do you have anything you want to talk about? I'll yeah, there's. I have a few things. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to bring it up later. I have a few things. Uh, I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, why? Why? I don't like quite Okay, you asked me a question. One question only, though. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. No, I need advice. That's oh, all. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to ask me about myself. No, no, I need advice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, how big is your... <laughs> 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 no. I, I need advice. I, not advice, but I have a way of functioning that I'm always... I'm like, I'm curious. I wonder if I have the right way. Functioning, like, okay. Yeah. As you know, I'm going through a breakup now. Oh. And it's, it's like a... It's not a... We didn't hate each other. She just had to move... I know. Back to That's her horrible. Country. Mm -hmm. So it's temporary. It's okay. It's a la vie. But how do you go through a breakup? Like, I throw everything away. Everything that reminds that, you of like, her. Like, let's say she gave me a present. Uh -huh. She gave me a card. She cooked something. Like, e her Tupperware, photos, everything to the trash. Okay. Let the healing begin. I was discussing things with someone who I broke up. We broke up. 
And she was telling me, no, I always keep a little souvenir. Okay. So that when I see it, I go, oh, yes, it's true. You know, we had good moments. I'm like, I can't do that. I got to take everything off. Where do you stand on this? That's probably a good idea. I'm the bad person to ask because I haven't had that many breakups. And most of my breakups were like ghostings. of mm. Either they ghost me or I ghost them. Mm. And even if we would date for like three months, Seriously? So- somebody would like be gone. They'd just be gone. I'm like, well. But Seriously? but also wow. I'm younger. I was younger, oh, yeah. right? So yeah. I wouldn't care. I'd be like, it'd be like scraping your knee. You'd be like, oh, you put a bandaid over it and you run into the traffic. You know, it's <laughs> you were stronger. <laughs> You're physically and emotionally. No, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, or I didn't give. It. I was like, well, okay. But the thing is, like, when I was when you're so much, like, say you're 24, 25, and you're getting ghosted constantly, yeah. you're like, even if it's great up until you're, it's it doesn't exist anymore. You don't. You're. It happens so many times. The first five times, you're like, oh, man, what the hell? And then you just expect it nonstop. You're like, That's uh, insane. I don't expect that at all. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially with Tinder, back of the apps, uh, all this stuff, you're like, Bleh. you've you've done it, sort of, yeah, you know? Yeah, I've so, ghosted. Of course, yeah. I've, I've been ghosted, too. So whoever was on the ghosted end. Who, yeah, but you said it, dating for three months. That's yeah. insane. Ghosting someone but after let's dating. See, yeah, I guess it's These not. These are like, bad dates. But it's not like an ins- uh, a very intense date. It was more like, uh, you know, we'd see each other You're here exclusive? and there. You're exclusive? W- would you nah. hold hands? Well, I no, know. I hold hands. You you punch each other. Would, yeah. you, would you punch each other? Will we hold hands? I don't know. Maybe not. Like, oh, like Imagine someone ghosting you after holding your hand. Yeah, it's true. That's that that the, would be, that would be oh. sad. It's true. You held hands. The, the only person that i That's I've more had, intimate than putting I my... Your throat. The only person that I've held hand with, held hands with while I was on Tinder was Claire. Aww. It's true. And then she stuck around, you know. So that's all that matters. But uh, no, it's probably the way you're doing it is very healthy. H- here's why also it's healthy because a you delete everything, mm-hmm. you you throw everything away, and something happened to me like a couple of weeks ago. I was cleaning my bedroom, and I moved my bed. I had to get something, and I found a letter. I found a love letter <gasps> that one of my exes from like years ago found like left me, and it was. It was heartwarming because it was unexpected. It uh-huh. just fell under the bed. Okay. And I was reading it and it was like a funny, cute love letter. I'm like, oh, this is nice. It's nice because I remembered there was love. Yeah. You know, but I'm like, oh, there was but not anymore. And oh. then I threw it in the garbage. But okay. I'm That's not going to keep it. But yeah. But yeah, it was yeah. nice to remember. Like, I, I always find little because I'm it's a funny. You had to guy. rip it up because you're afraid of your identity being stolen or something. What? No, it's just like it's over. Oh, <laughs> so it's it, over. It, was, it was like a gesture of like in the universe, like, over. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. It, like it was. It's nice because I always. I'm a messy guy, so I'm sure every few years I'll find something from a lover. Wow. And I've been in this apartment for years. Yeah. Dude, sometimes I'll find shots on Whoa. the wall. I'm like, well, how did I get it there? Man, like, I was young and like, virile. There's <laughs> like a little baby mushroom growing. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> 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 he wiped that off from the, the garbage. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I always find little mementos. They're so like I found, I found, I found a. Uh, a bra, bra size, because a girl I was dating, she was like she wore lingerie one time, uh-huh. but it was like brand new. So she, they had a little tag that says like thirty six D. And I just I was cleaning, and I'm like, what is this? And I looked, and it was like a little circle that says. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember. Like I remember that day she showed me the lingerie. I'm like, oh, that was hot. But then Whoa. again, you rip it up. You can't just toss that away. <laughs> you're, you're, it's, 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 dude, it's, you're so you're full of gestures. It's great. No, it's and a, I just it's very poetic. It. What else that I found that I found. Uh, a girl I did it and she she was very classy and she liked old school love like she wrote her number <laughs> she was her name on a pumpkin uh, not a pumpkin Sorry. on a napkin yeah she wrote her number <laughs> on a pumpkin <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> <laughs> and I found the pumpkin under my bed <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I know on a napkin, and it was your okay. It was her phone number. I'm like, oh yeah, but then again, that's funny. Goodbye, but it's good because you remember the cute things, yeah. and that's what's important, you know. So that's that's. Not, I remember I was um, 16. I did. It was the summer of 20 2006 or whatever. I was like 16, and it was the summertime. We're at the pool, and there was this girl that uh, there was like a bunch of groups. There was like uh, I was like in the Greek. Indian, yeah. we all speak English crew, and we all hang out at the pool. And then to the right, there was like this the terrifying, like French <laughs> black people crew. And they're just like, Did ah! you add French just so you don't sound racist? No, no, was no. it just black people? And you're like, it, I'm gonna just, add French. This in there? was just Park X. We we're like, okay. okay, but they were like, they're 
dude, they, I thought they were like tw- 30 or something, like 30 year old <laughs> men and with like 14 year old white girls. I'm like, what? But I think that's just like I was small and oh, they were giant yeah, yeah. And, I was, and also scared. And and uh, I remember there was this one girl that kept on looking over and mm-hmm. I kept on looking back and she's like this and I'm like this. And then like, but I was a, I was a big uh Right, so yeah. I was like, "Ah, oh, let's forget about it." And then the biggest, scariest guy came over. He was on the outside of the fence of the pool, and we we would lean along the fence, right, and catch the sun, right. And then I feel like a kick on my back, like on the fence, like a slight yeah. kick. And I turn, and it's one of those guys. And he's like, "Hey, man, like you see that girl?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "She like you, man. She like you, man." And I'm like, "Okay, sir. Yes, all right." He's like, you better talk to her. She like you, man. I remember that. I was remember being terrified I, I, yeah. of this guy and terrified of this girl. I was so scared because I didn't have a girlfriend or anything really up to that point. I didn't have like a... Yeah. The, and you were so, terrified of your feelings. Yeah. And, well, I was more terrified of like... It's also so public, right? Everyone's looking and stuff. And then I being remember... Being vulnerable? Huh? You're terrified of being vulnerable? Mm, I, I don't know what it... I just didn't want to... I I I I don't know. Scared. I've never been around women before. Really. Okay. Like so that. Okay. So you're scared of your feelings towards women? Just no, I'm curious because it, it's not. You're not, gonna have a son. He's gonna come to you, and you're gonna. Oh dear. So oh, what yeah, were you terrified of? Just like uh, like having to talk to somebody. You know. I don't okay. Know, like the, the unknown. Yeah, I don't know this person. Like who the hell knows? It <laughs> okay. just, you're it, scared. It's just, it's fear just, of the unknown. It's a very strange situation where I'm being forced into. Feels like a marriage all of a sudden. Mm. So they're like, yeah, and everybody's like, talk, and they throw us in the pool, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and she's there, and I'm there, and I'm like, hi, and she's like, hi. Oh, you spoke with her? Yeah, because <gasps> they threw us in the pool. They, they threw us in, like they were like, someone threw you in the water, yeah. and someone threw uh-huh. her in the water. Yeah. Oh my god, everyone's a matchmaker, Dude, but in this a violent was, way. <laughs> but it was like fun, right? It was, it was cute. So you're in the pool. Yeah, and she's like, do you? I, I asked her, do you want to go to the movies? She's like, sure. And so we go. That was the first question. Yeah. 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 What's your name? No. So do you want to go to the movies? Yeah. Straight to the point. I didn't know what it's to romantic. say. It's romantic. It's cute. And then uh, I remember the movie we went to see was Flight Plan or something. It was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. And she brought her stupid, fat, ugly friend with her. Yeah. And I was like, oh, sure. But uh, yeah, and she was there all the time. And so we started like sort of dating and it was whatever. It was pretty awkward. And I didn't know. How old were you? 15 or 16 ah. and like I, w- I went over her house and like her dad is like s- was some really skinny Polish guy <sighs> that was an alcoholic that would always smash stuff I would hear and her mom would be hiding and and then um, she wrote me like this book Aww. not that she wrote me a book she wrote me like this in a sketchbook or something she wrote like different things like you know like g is for the way you're gay yeah, she's yeah, spelling, yeah, yeah. spelling my name right yeah a is for a <laughs> I mean, whatever all this all m this thing. is for your hot mother no <laughs> Wait, Wait, b b b, b. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and then uh, your boy. I, I had I had I had a thing, and I put it on my desk, and then years later, yeah. I found it. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh, and then I ripped it up. <laughs> no, you but kept it? No, I don't know where I did. I can't do, remember. Do you have anything from your exes at your home? No, exactly. No, so no, okay. So not. You, okay. Or my mom threw it out. I don't know. I'm happy you agree with me. Maybe your mom keeps your love letters sent to you. Because <laughs> I, 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 I found something. I find things, and oh, I'm like, tr- oh yeah, remember this, and then I just lose it. You know. Like, yeah, you your mom still lives in the house that you grew up in. Yeah. Oh, okay. So do you still have your room there? Yeah, it's pretty much mostly there. Um, but the desk that I had is gone. Most of it is like all the furniture is different in there. Okay. Okay. So it's just a room now. Yeah, it has oh, like wow. different stuff. So it's not a sh- none of that stuff's mine. And your mom was like, "I'm not moving, staying here. I don't need." Rent's it. really cheap. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they should never. You should keep it forever, yeah. never, especially now. The laws are changing apparently. What? Well, rent. Apparently, people who rent in Quebec, I'm starting to, after paying attention to the Middle East, I'm like, oh, yeah, I live in Canada. Let's see what problems <laughs> we have. <laughs> okay. And apparently, the whole government is yeah. just like, the union, they're not getting the money they want. Uh, the, the the rent, there's apparently, lease transfers are going to become illegal now. What? And stuff like that. How can they, d- I guess they could do I that. Don't know the whole, again, I don't know the law. I just saw a headline. Lease I'm like, I don't know. Lease transfers are illegal? Anyways, or they That's changed the law on lease transfers, and apparently there's a protest happening soon. I'm like, I should go to that protest. Yeah. But like in, in May or something. I don't know when it is. Yeah. yeah. But I, uh, yeah, Man. apparently we. I, like, I should pay attention to I wish protests, I protests only ever work in like when it's a social justice thingy, like, like it means more. But when it's about like things like this, 
one side's like, get a job, you bum. Like, people all, all like, protest about, like, no parking in Park X, yeah. right? And people were like, bunch of losers who yeah. kind of, like, you suck. Why? People were like, on them, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought you were calling them. No, 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 no. I'm like, what the hell? Not they're not right. Not me. No, no, no. Other people, and they're like, uh, or or like an NDG, they're like they have like this new bike lane that's coming on, and they have this big town hall, and people are protesting with their helmets on, and it's like everyone's. It seems so not ever gonna do anything. I don't know how I feel about protests. I think protesting about small things works better than protesting against big things. Yeah, you think? I think so because when you protest about small things, you're dealing with small people. Mm. In the sense, like if you protest that uh, they shouldn't take away parking, you're dealing for you're dealing with with the mayor of a neighborhood. Yeah, the guy makes like twenty dollars a day. I like know. He, he, he's he's a small person. In yeah, power. he's not. But if you're protesting the war in the Ukraine, you think Putin gives a damn about you being in Montreal, no. going like no more war? They don't care. But like whoever is the most like let's say. Uh, the governor of like, or or the, even the president of the United States, is like, oh, everyone's uh, for this side. Like, yeah, I'll but give it's all the Russia. Money. Yeah, I know, but they'll like then send all their support to that cause, right? They'll just send if they see, oh, this will might get me elected in the next term if I'm like for the cause that everyone is with, right? Let's say, uh, let, let's say like like like, like Ukraine, right? People yeah. are like, oh, uh, stop the war in Ukraine, and then whoever's in charge will be like, oh, okay, I'll just send a bunch of money. To Ukraine, and then I'll look good. Yeah, in I don't eyes. want Canada to be involved in the war. I I know, but that's that's what people do. Like, I want peace. I know, but I don't care about. I don't believe in countries. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what like Justin Trudeau is doing. He's just sending a bunch of money to Ukraine. Yeah. And all the and then he's I think he's giving a bunch of money to Israel or something. Well, I don't know if he's giving money to Israel. They don't, or he's they, supporting they don't Israel. Israel. Doesn't need Canada. Like we're good. Yeah. yeah I don't know what. Keep that. your maple syrup <laughs> money. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, you you bring a valid point. Like people, for they want to get elected. But here's the thing: most people, and I'm realizing this. Can I do jokes? Because I do jokes about the Middle East. Mm-hmm. I think most people they're like ah, but the Middle East for like two weeks, and they're like oh, we're done. Yeah. And the people who are still stuck thinking about the Middle East, it's a very small percentage. Yeah, it's it, so it went really quick. People actually. who vote, you you have some people who are like oh he didn't he didn't help uh, he didn't listen to me when I protested against yeah. the war or whatever so I'm not gonna vote for him yeah it's a very small percentage I think most people are like how much taxes am I paying I know my city looks nice I don't care and then but, but the remember vote. like when during um d- during the Black Lives Matters protest it yeah. was right during COVID right the yeah. summer of COVID and then Justin Trudeau was like no one's allowed to gather but then during yeah. that same summer he like was in a like yeah. a pink mask walking yeah. around you know yeah I don't know. Whoever is left from that might. Yeah, but might how many people you know mm-hmm. are so fully committed to any cause yeah. that they're going to v- remove a person in power because of that cause? Like, no. How many people you know who are like, I'm pro BLM? There, there are one. Uh, I don't, I don't who know. had an opinion on the subject that, is fer- that was ferocious enough to go protest? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Give a percent. I, I like 5%? Me? Yeah. I don't know. Zero. Like, okay, I don't know. zero. Yeah, yeah. I think most people you'll talk to, they'll tell us like between zero. And ten percent. Yeah. Some people are like, no, no, it's ninety percent. All my friends were involved. Yeah, but you're a small percentage. Yeah, and yeah. Even you would agree that you're a small percentage. Yeah, exactly. Most people they're like, yeah, I don't care. Like I, the fact that he. But do you remember the re-election? When he did the re-election and during uh, he did it like an early election to like he wanted to get more power. But he ended up losing power because of that. Like okay. he won because people were thinking, oh my god, this uh, re-election thing where like people were voting whether or not uh, the the yeah. conservatives are in power he ended up losing seats because of it but only because the COVID people were all like like even me i was like screw this guy i'm, I'm not voting for justin trudeau anymore you know he's the yeah of, of Park yeah, he used yeah. to rang my doorbell once he rang your doorbell yeah, yeah, yeah. did you open yeah i was like a child or something no. Oh wow! You met? Je- was he in blackface? <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Hello, I am in Park X." <laughs> Honestly, if he's representing Park X, if he were, if he dressed as an Indian, that that guy must have spoken to a lot of Indians. Yeah, he got, and he a lot got of the accent down pretty good. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not as if he was living in Westmount and never saw an Indian guy except yeah. Aladdin or whatever. <laughs> and then he decided he was literally hanging out in Park X. That was the neighborhood he re- yeah, yeah. represented. There's a lot of Indians in Park X. Yeah, it's cool. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna be like my constituents. Well, I went to when I went to the the parade in uh, the Greek know, parade. You, you he know was why? There. He, but you know why he lost, right? Mm. In the sense, he lost power because I think here's here's my reasoning. He saw that online he was killing it with like a 
being fully woke and blah blah yeah. blah. Because he's like, oh, online in the on the online yeah, yeah, world, yeah, yeah. I'm the doing great. World, yeah, he's doing great. And the, if I do my elections, all these online people will come vote for me. Mm-hmm. But I think most people don't vote. No. I think fifty percent of people don't I vote. What, I didn't vote. I forgot to vote. Yeah, I wonder what the what the thing was. You know I, I mean? I, yeah, people don't vote. Yes, remember this. It's too bad. Because he's not like, oh, these people. They all they follow a movement. Mm-hmm. So I want them to follow my movement. Yeah. Most people don't follow movements. No. It's like religion. Most people are not religious. Yeah. So he thought, oh, these people they will follow me. But he forgot that most people are also lazy, especially yeah. online people. Like well, you can just protest in your underwear. Yeah. Why would you like? I so know. He's, he's like, and then he lost. Yeah. Well, yeah. The power of the offline people ha- is not to be. Uh, he didn't lose enough. Or whatever. He didn't lose enough. I know he's gonna lose probably the next one. Yeah. It must suck to be him, dude. I know he he's getting the point. <laughs> it does, no, it here's be. why, because he's been in power for what, eight, nine years now. Yeah, like a long many time. years. Yeah, for a long time. He, we are his people, right? Mm-hmm. He gained our love by giving us Serb and being handsome and cute. I, I remember loving him for like a week. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my god, yeah, you're the he, best. Save us. But he had he has to deal with word leaders. Yeah, and some of these word leaders, they must look at him like, look at this. F- I know. What are you, Finland? Like, no, 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 not that. Because he, he looks like them. You got all your power by kissing I people. Know. I got my power by murdering half of them, Whoa. and they got so scared. Whoa. This is how you rule a country, you yeah. little. Wow. They must think right. he's, yeah. He's dealing with like kings of worlds and prime ministers. Like, Real you gotta leaders. With a, with a, with a, that's you gotta such keep uh, the so leash so tight. That's so interesting. Look at you, you're like just being cute. Look yeah. how ugly I am, and people love me. <laughs> Look at you, you're handsome. You have to cut your hair. <laughs> you're a. That's a, I'm not bald. a real man. <laughs> I'm bald and I have a mustache, <laughs> and I am a world leader. They when I walk, they fear me. Your people don't even fear wow. you. You call yourself a leader. Oh God. You little. That's amazing. No one respects it. No, that's amazing. Like you're nothing without America. You would be nothing. Who the hell do you think you are? Like he must be like, oh come on, guys, come on, can we yeah. work it out? I'm just. Yeah, it feels like he he, he works part time, <laughs> doesn't he? Yeah, it doesn't all feel these like people, he's doing much. All these people, dude, he's been doing it for so long. <laughs> I, I hope he's got it to a part time yeah, job. Yeah, it feels like it's Imagine very. Yeah. You've been doing the same job for like what ten years? Yeah, it's like and you're hours. still not good at it. You're yeah. not efficient. Like, all right, let's go back to scrolling on reels. I want to share with you my dumb thoughts of the week. Okay. I want to start that. So here's how I realized it was getting cold. Uh-huh. I don't know if you know, but I, I eat four boiled eggs every day. Okay. I told you this. Yeah. And this is how I found that it was cold. It was taking me longer to boil. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, hey, my eggs are soft. Like, oh, yeah, water is colder. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to Out add like sink. 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah. That's a cool, that's a cute, that's a All nice right. thought. Another, an, uh, no, this is not a stupid thing. It's uh, something I learned. Okay. And uh, then I'm like, oh, I should tell this. Mm-hmm. So as you know, I'm a big fan of uh, history and architecture. Mm. And I was looking at the Sistine Chapel. Mm-hmm. And if you know the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo, mm-hmm. he painted like the ceiling. It's just a bunch of naked men with their p- out. It's <laughs> yeah, I you mean, know? there are naked men on the ceiling. Yeah. Naked men on the ceiling. <laughs> you know what I learned? What? That I'm like, oh, of course. The p- they don't hang. They're not drawn like they're hanging. Uh. <laughs> They're like lying I, down. I th- I thought they were they were drawn like you know you know like. And They're the like hello exactly. everybody down there hello. And he's <laughs> like just dangling, <laughs> but no, it was drawn as if it's a it's he's standing straight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As if like gravity is like this because <laughs> I thought his would be like this and it was <laughs> and the painting would be like this but apparently <laughs> not. So that's <laughs> hello. Huh? guys that's educational. A, that's very interesting. Yeah. No. <laughs> I thought it would just be just bloop. Yeah, like a chandelier because there's hanging. the touch of God, right? And he's like sit, he's sitting down in like a. What is he sitting know, there's a, a bunch of ones. Like, it's like a huge, yeah, it's huge. Yeah. A, yeah. So yeah, these are the <laughs> stupid thoughts of the day. So a monumental thing happened yesterday in the history of uh, entertainment in general. Just entertainment. The one of the biggest things. Yeah. So uh, th- this trailer for this specific thing dropped yesterday, and within an hour, it got 66 million views on YouTube. Whoa. Or not an hour, maybe like Whatever, four yeah. or five hours, let's say. But right now, it's probably- Within like, a short- So right now, it's at a few hundred million views. Oh. It's Grand Theft Auto 6 mm. yesterday. It was revealed on uh, the YouTube. So it, it got leaked. It was supposed to come out today, but it got leaked uh, by, I think someone's like- a developer's kid leaked it or something. Got leaked. Come but, on, bro. But uh, it did. Come on, bro. 
The thing is, like, they were gonna like reveal it in a big thing, and then no, like, yeah, they you have a marketing team. Conspiracy. Yeah. They leaked it themselves. I, I don't think they need that though. They don't really need. We're talking about it. Well, I'm. Uh, I guess I'm. But they're not. They uh, whatever. Like I. Th- I think that like people are like really upset. I don't know. Whatever. Like other devs and stuff. Are like oh, that aren't a part of the thing. Fake. 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 I don't. Think- it was leaked by them because it. This is how. Dude, how many times in history has that yeah. happened? I don't want to be conspiracy theorists. I don't want to interrupt your story. But this is what the really smart people do. Yeah. You want attention for something that is not essential? You ooh, yeah. it's fake leaked. Oh. Whatever. The, the, the leak is no one even thought about the leak. The leak, who cares about the leak? 65 million people. That has nothing to do with why people have been begging for this game for 10 years. Exactly. And how are you going to release something that people have been begging for? Oh, no, it's leaked. Oh, oops. Yeah, but the leak has nothing to do with the story. The, I know, the, but for me, it's all about oh, okay. It's <laughs> all about the conspiracy, <laughs> baby. The leak. Conspiracy the, theory. The people they didn't. Re- the leak didn't get sixty six million views. They, they, some like guy on some Twitter re- released it, and then like okay, we well, might as well just release it now. And then within like a, uh, a few hours of that leak, they just leaked their own, or they leaked their own. They posted their own, and uh, <laughs> they leaked it <laughs> <out. laughs> exactly, exactly. No, the leak is the most least interesting part about this story. It, no, no nobody- man, it's marketing genius. It's like Matt Drive doing his most horrible joke five minutes in because he knows people are not oh, going to yeah. watch the whole thing. Well, he's a genius. If, if it was any other like studio behind it, like yeah, I guess they would do something like that. But this game, people have been begging for a reveal for this game because this game came out. In the, the Grand Theft Auto Five came out when I was like twenty years old or twenty one years old, and that was super hype. People were going crazy for it. And that game was on Xbox 360, and then it was on, like, the one after Xbox, PS4, or, okay, sorry, PS3, PS4, and then it was re-released on PS5. So, three generations of gaming consoles, this one game has been around, and it was just, like, teased and teased, and people, every comment, you go, any gaming video of any other game, people are like, when's Grand Theft Auto 6 coming? When's Grand Theft Auto 6? And it finally dropped, and it's, like... It, it looks like insane. Like I, at first I saw it, I was like, "Oh, it's overhyped." But I was like, "Dude." So you want to tell me the people who are yeah. such geniuses? They're able to make a game that is yeah. amazing. Yeah. The guy who's in control of like the whole thing, he's like, "Okay, I have amazing people to create amazing graphics and amazing games." Yeah. He's not also smart enough. Like I'm gonna hire amazing PR people who's gonna release this in the best way. Uh, I, I honestly, I don't even. I, I wish I wish hey, I didn't bring up the CEO leak. of what's uh, <laughs> Rockstar. What's, Rockstar. Mr. Rockstar, you are a fantastic CEO. I hope they give you a lot of millions as a bonus because this is how you release a game. Okay. Amazing product, amazing marketing campaign. I know you don't believe me. You feel offended. I, I, you feel I, I, offended I don't, I don't. that your heroes at Rockstar might be They're lying. They're not my heroes. It's just marketing. I, I know, but I, I, it, it's not even interesting. I don't. It, they literally was on Twitter. It was so some. This is just like it was leaked. I didn't even find out about the leak till way after. I, I didn't know. Nobody even knew about the leak. No, everyone knows about the leak. But. No- <laughs> Nobody cares about the leak. <laughs> Nobody cares. Someone leaked it, and then they're like, oh, we're going to release it. Whatever. Uh, it, all it did was, I think they released it. It's a cool it. story. It's not that cool. It's kind yeah. of like nobody cares. It, it just was brought up by, it's, it would have been, it, what would have been really it's cool. Don't listen to this capitalist, he sold to corporation guy. Let's say if we. Come to the truth to me. I have another conspiracy theory, by the way. <laughs> Okay, well, it would have been cool. Let's say if we, oh, the trailer's going to come out in a month and then they released it a month in advance. This is like, it was like two hours difference. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody cares. Anyway, oh my God. I, this, I didn't want to talk about this leak <laughs> thing, man. I didn't want to talk about other shit about this guy. Right, whatever. I don't know. It's okay, Gabe. This is part of the fun. No, are you this okay? is, is this, so frustrating. This is frustrating? <laughs> yeah. People are like, don't even give a shit. I'm telling you. It's I, a leak. It's not the People leak. who are like minded uh, like me, who are seeking the truth, man. If you seek the truth, yeah. <laughs> you go for the leak. Oh, Amber Jones, God. everybody. <laughs> right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he ga- so, Gabe, as you know, and some people who came to the show last Sunday, we decided that we're going to start offering lollipops okay, yeah, yeah. at our shows. Usually offer chocolates and gum and mints, but now we started offering lollipops. Now, I haven't eaten a lollipop in like 20 years. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. And I realized I really don't like eating lollipops. You know and you... Know? I love, love I eating lollipops. Like lollipops. I think lollipops are like. And I'm because here's the thing, why do you love lollipops? Because that those lollipops are great. The chupa chups. Yeah, chupa chups. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're really the good. Those are really good because they they last. They have like a really good flavor, and they're, they're like lollipops are usually like 
like a very thin amount of like very vague flavors. This is like a diesel. Deep... <laughs> oh, this is diesel flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh. There's like strawberry and chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. I really like it. But I like the candy. Mm-hmm. I just don't like the this format. The, the stick? Yeah, you're eating it. You're... I like and that. Like, why? Just I enjoy the candy. Yeah. I'm pro candy, anti stick. Well, you the just, format is horrible. Just I take eat the candy. it. I take it on my mouth, and then I'm like, I'll take a little break, and then I put it back in my mouth. You know, it's just the the format is not good for me. No, you don't. Like I, it. I can't. That's why I, when I eat it, oh, I just, dude, you're gonna break your teeth. It's. I prefer that than to have do you in th- my mouth for like thirty seconds. Do you think for thirty minutes? Do you think dentists put uh, lollipops in the world so people like you can break them, but, and then then you go to the dentist and then they're like, "Aha! Uh-huh, I got the money from you now." I think the sugar is worse for your teeth yeah. than the I cracking know. of uh, the sugar. I don't eat. I don't eat candy all week, and then I have like all the candy <laughs> on s- every Sunday. Yeah, we're all like, where's the chocolate? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I didn't need the chocolate because I was eating the, f- uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the lollipops. <laughs> so good. Claire mm. had to hide them from me <laughs> in the house. And then I'm like, oh, Claire, I need the ch- uh, candies for the Sunday show. She's like, okay, <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Because uh. <laughs> like, like I had, she had to put them like under her desk because I kept on like, I was like, oh, they're so good. <laughs> Maybe we should keep the lollipops at my house <laughs> and the chocolates at your house. <laughs> yeah. Because me, it's chocolate. That's what I, I can oh, I yeah. go crazy for. That's why I, I he keeps the chocolate at his mm. house. But lollipops, ugh. I, I'm, I do love those lollipops. I forgot I even had them. Oh, sorry, I reminded you. Would you like a lollipop? I have. I'm, we're not going to have a lollipop. Maybe uh, later. How can you like that format, though? Well, those lollipops are... I've never had candy. I never had a chocolate candy before. I mean, wait a minute. I never had like, you know, like I've had chocolates. Yes. But I haven't had a circular ball chocolate before. Like that's like Ferrero Rocher. No, but like that, you bite into it, right? Oh. This is like a you suck on this, and it's I never had You're sucking on chocolate. I've never had a suckable chocolate <laughs> <laughs> or ball in the mm. testicle. And oh, here's another problem with the uh, lollipops. And I didn't know I had this. I've been alive for forty years. Mm-hmm. I don't know I have that problem. I don't know how to offer lollipops to other heterosexual men. Yeah, I can't. Like, hey, you want a lollipop? <laughs> yeah, and so I told him, like, listen, I don't know how to offer you a lollipop. Please take a lollipop. You need to put on the sign, like, take like a lollipop on the on the lineup for the comedians. Yeah, please take a, take lollipop. a lollipop. And then you, go, his girlfriend is next to him. I'm like, would you like a lollipop? Like, what did you it's say to my girlfriend? Bad. It's not It's. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm like, guys, can you steal a lollipop? Now, this is what you do. We, people come to the thing. We say we got chocolates, lollipops, mints. Gabe, uh, let's uppers, be honest. Downers. That's not your strength. <laughs> Being a door guy, go, we got your, we got candy. You're so awkward. <laughs> I'm not that awkward. I think I'm pretty good. I'm like, you hey, got, how's it going? A lot better. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Uh, we got this, that, that. Go sit down. Yeah, you've uh, gotten a million times better. See. Can we agree that when we started, you were not that good? Yeah, no, no. This no. is Gabe when we started the show. <laughs> He'd be on his phone. Hi, I'm. Uh, hi, I'm here for the show. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go back there. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm never. I'm like, Gabe. I've <laughs> never been. I never worked at a. Uh, where where would you work where that's like a job? A host. It's a host. I've never been a hostess. It's the same host on stage. It's not. It's totally different. It's the same energy. It's you're welcoming. But I'm not. I know. But then I'm off stage. I'm not even like I, it's it's hard. Like I'm not performing right then. But is you, you 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 don't you're not funny. Yeah, you're not a funny human. Uh, eh. I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. with my friends off stage, yeah. but on stage I'm trying but to. But it's be funny the same friends. energy. It's a f- I know. Same but then um energy. then I'll be like oh, like hey how's it going I don't know like but, yeah but that's the same energy. You I have don't to know. Take that welcoming. You've gotten better as a host and you've gotten better as an offline yeah off stage host and yeah, on stage yeah, yeah. host. It's just practice. Yeah, but that's it was all. just so funny at the beginning. I'm sorry yeah, if, I, if I if I sounded no big, no no true. no why yeah. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, talk, we're just talking. Why? Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, no, I don't. I just like eating candy. That's all. Okay, so we'll keep the chupa chups at my house yeah, from now on. Sure. I have to tell Claire to FedEx them to you though, <laughs> but because like if I bring them over to your house, I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna keep them hostage. <laughs> but here's the thing: you driving on the highway, <laughs> cops chasing me. We need the chupa chups. Not on my life. Jump off a bridge. <laughs> but here's the beautiful thing about uh, candy, is that chocolate you can literally eat a bar of chocolate in ten seconds. Mm. Like you could take a like I, I did it on Saturday. I I bought like coffee crisp and Twix, and I just it takes literally a um um and you finish a bar. Whoa, of chocolate. okay. But 
Candy. I'm not gonna say lollipop. I'm not gonna dignify okay. that insult of a candy. Candy, you have to suck on it. Yeah. You know, you have okay. to suck on it in your mouth. So it takes time to finish whether yeah. you're eating it in a lollipop format or just a candy format. Yeah. It, you need like 10 minutes. It's not bad. Except, no, but it's better. Yeah. Because chocolate, you can eat. Uh huh. If you want to eat chocolate for 10 minutes, you can eat 20 bars of chocolate. You know. But you can eat one candy in 10 minutes. You know how you could uh, extend chocolate by you get you buy an advent calendar, mm. but you got to be why? Christian. I got. You have to be as a, as a Muslim. You <laughs> yeah, you can't. It's a mousetrap, actually. I got. It's not yeah. a candy. It's a mousetrap. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a I got an advent calendar and and, and it's from the dollar store. It was like seventy five cents. Yeah, yeah, that's so the you worst. Eat it every day. You're like, oh, <laughs> it's so oh, disgusting. I'm like, this. ew. <laughs> um, oh, I have an amazing idea for a Christmas movie. Ooh, go ahead. Okay, so I was watching this. Oh, uh, dude. So it's it's Christmas time, right? I saw like a, a Christmas. We watched me and Claire watched a Christmas movie. We didn't even realize it was gonna be a Christmas movie. It's called the uh, the leftovers or the holdovers or something. It's a it's with Paul Giamatti and it's about like. A bunch of kids at an academy that had to stay during the Christmas time because their parents were busy. Yeah. And, and so I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I was thinking about my own Christmas movie because, you know, like these Netflix Christmas movies, they're so bad. It's always like uh, like the mom, tur- like their mind switch with the dad and, or they, the, the sw- you know, like those body yeah, switching yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. And it's always like around Christmas. And so I was thinking like, here's a really good Christmas movie. <laughs> it's a, OK. Here it's a Christian family. And uh, they're losing the Christmas spirit, right? And so they're slowly. <laughs> I haven't really thought about this at all, by the way. So I'm making it up. But I was. I thought about it for. And I'm like, oh yeah, I remembered. So it's a Christian family that uh, the kids. They're like texting. They're like uh, on TikTok. The dad is like depressed. He's like not getting respect at work. The mom, she's like doesn't get attention from but and it's and it's christmas time and they're always bickering and the, they're like the kid tries to put on like a christmas movie and the dad's like turn that shit off we're watching the news or whatever and the mom's like i'm gonna go see my sister and then then this the daughter's crying she's like i hate christmas and then <laughs> somewhere in like <laughs> somewhere in like the middle east i was hoping you guys <laughs> <tell> that <laughs> I was hoping you're gonna say that. I was hoping you're gonna say that. And somewhere in the Middle East, there's like, they're like, uh, there's like a Muslim family, and like they're very traditional. But the kids, they love Western I- yeah. ideology. They they're on TikTok. They're like, this looks so great. <laughs> oh, snowman and Christmas and Jesus. And the dad's like, give me that. Sh- Take the shawarma or whatever, and it's all the the the, mom, the mom doesn't speak. She's covered all in a thing, right? And then uh, the kid is like, "I hate being Muslim." <laughs> and then there's like a lightning strike in the North Pole, and they switch bodies, <laughs> and they learn. They the 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 kids learn how horrible Western society <laughs> is, and they wish they were back with their goat and whatever. This is how Osama bin Laden <laughs> became Osama bin Laden. And then the kids hate, like, they learn to appreciate Christmas, and the dad is like, uh, I don't know. We have to eat dates. I don't <laughs> like dates. <laughs> Papa, what is dates? <sighs> and that's my Christmas movie. That would be hilarious. A halal Christmas. Yeah. Dude, that's... I was thinking about that. That would be so funny. Yeah, today. It be, like, uh, you can make one, like, the re- the sequel, mm-hmm. is they get switched, but with a Muslim family or a Muslim person who grew up here. Oh. And it's just a regular week, mm-hmm. like nothing changes. Yeah. Like this is my life. Oh, Christmas. Oh, I just, okay. Yeah, it's just nothing. Nothing. I'm working. I'm. Yeah. I, nothing changes. It's depressing. But do the, do Muslim people have off from work? Because usually the work's closed during Christmas time, yeah. right? So they yeah, just I guess, they, yeah, I guess so. So yeah. do they go to like well, I, I, not me? Oh it doesn't, like, go, yeah. I'm but what about boss. like uh, just the guy that works? I don't know at like probably yeah at I guess the 11. Apple Store or something. Or, or usually let's no, but let's say the Apple Store doesn't close between Christmas and New Year's. It doesn't? So. No, they they close. I think the twenty fourth. Oh. But there's so many jobs that are open all the time. Wow. This is where Muslims are like I don't care. I'll just work. I'll make double the salary. Wow. Did you know that right? No. If you work during uh, holidays or. Like Canada Day, you pay double or one and oh, a half. No. I worked at I worked New Year's Day once, and I realized, and I found out that it isn't a holiday. 
No. <laughs> it's the, not a holiday. I think the first yeah. is the thirty first is not a holiday, but the first is a holiday. So let's is say it? you work on the first I think. If you work on the first, you're paid double or one point five. I worked on the first and the, and I don't think it was a holiday. Uh, one of those two is yeah. a holiday. I'm not sure. I was working at a bar, I remember. And I, anyways, in Canada, by law, if the oh, your boss yeah. follows the rule, you're supposed to be paid one and a half or twice on uh, wow. on holidays, yeah. Oh wow, interesting. So that's why that's where like Muslims or Hindus, basically all other religions than Christians, if they have nothing, like oh, I'll just work, make money. Dude, I'm stoked for. I I love that it's snowing. I love Christmas is coming up. Oh, I hate Christmas. We've had that talk. It's, I've never had a happy Christmas. You never had a happy Christmas. Christmas for me is a time of sadness and loneliness. What? Yeah. But most of my breakups happen around Christmas. Oh. The past three or four breakups happen around Christmas. It's always sad. It's always like what like the new year my birthday doesn't mean much because uh-huh. you don't change the date mm-hmm. like when i write the date it's still you know it's just but new year is a big thing because i change like 2024 i write the date every day because okay. i have to write notes or whatever so i write the date so I, oh that i'm like oh it's another year that means something way more than mm-hmm. uh than my birthday because okay. like people like on their birthday they're like oh my god i'm starting a new age blah 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 <laughs> they say women say that i guess i guess i don't know or men i don't know be like okay <laughs> like how it's old are birthday. you now oh my god uh 33 33 so next year you're gonna be 34 yeah, yeah will you will you have any thought about being 34 not about the number no but it's like i'm older now i what would i like to do with my life hmm. do, do you have these thoughts like yeah but that's throughout the year not ever not not on my birthday my okay. birthday is usually like just ha- hanging hang out okay for me it's new year I'm like okay it's 2024 what would i like this year i set the goal of the year on that year well, mm. what would i'd like to accomplish not my birthday mm. so it's ugh, just you go over back the year and everything <laughs> oh really yeah, you see my material right now i'm like going over what happened wow. this year so I, all my sets like okay you know the year is ending i did this 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 that's cool punch time punch. i had a good year did you, did you think it, we, you know what we should do this we should do end of the year uh, yeah recap good things that we did and bad things that we did okay jesus christ we need like a mediator for something like that in what way what did i say meat eater or mediator Me- <laughs> i heard meteor <laughs> meat eater and mediator i'm assuming you said mediator yeah we need <laughs> We need a meteor. <laughs> no, yeah, we need like a mediator for things like this. Cause I am, I need someone to, like, and not a person that's you to push me in these directions. Cause we're like so close, right? And if you're like, no, well, what about that? What? I'm like, no, nah, f- forget it. But if another person's here, I need yeah. to like keep, keep civilized, you know? So I'm like, oh, it's almost like a divorce, you know? We're but like, we're not divorcing. I don't understand. I know, but like, if we're gonna reflect, it's like yeah. a painful, horrible process. Of, really? Yeah. But wait, and you don't want to do that in camera or with me? We, no, I want to do it on camera, and I want to do it with yeah. you. But I need like a third person. And what would they well, give me an example of? How, I'm an example guy. Give okay. me an example where we would need a mediator. Let's say like Gabriel. What's uh, one thing you regret? And I'm like, uh, and then Joel's like. Yeah, Gabriel. I'm like, okay, well, I'll, because then I can make it more of a show rather than it being really personal. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's know? a personal. Okay, okay. You don't want to be sincere. Okay. No, I could be sincere, <laughs> but, but it, it needs for, to. For, it, it's not entertaining for it, you. It's not uh, going to be f- fun for me at all. It's just going to be painful and it's mm. going to show my face the whole time. Okay. It's going to be like, it's almost like there's a gun to my face. And you're uncomfortable doing this in front of me or in front of the camera? Ca- uh, camera. Okay. But you're comfortable enough to do that in front of me? Uh, probably not, not probably but not in front not. of you and Joel, probably. Ah, uh. because <laughs> then it's more I can make it fun. Ah, uh, okay, but you 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 don't feel you'd be able to make it fun to me. Well, it's because you you're so serious sometimes that uh. you'd ask it so seriously uh, okay. that I'd be like, well, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a that's a solid point. That's why we make that's why we we host yeah. very well together. Yeah, so okay. it'll be fun. It'll be let. It doesn't need to be Joel. It could be like Hasher. It's Joel. He's he's not. <laughs> yeah. Joel. So is Gabriel. <laughs> Hasher, like, Joel is the, the the third good nighter. He's the third good nighter. If if we made a yeah. mug yeah. with a third <laughs> person, it'd be yeah. like Joel's face. He's, yeah. he's the add on him. Will Del Vecchio. Yeah, nighter. exactly. It could be either either one of those guys. Yeah, but I think Joel. I know Joel, but I see. I I, I saw Joel for like every Monday for like freaking eight months at one point why because he, he, he would go to bar flight every monday oh, okay. and i'd be he would get there so early he's crazy man that guy he's a hard working dude yeah i like him very much yeah remember that name everybody well he was on the podcast joel slapping mm-hmm. now i do was let's say he's hosting a show i'm doing 
I go on stage, like, keep it going for Joel Slavic. And I, woo, like, he's so white. He writes his last name with three Ks. That's, yeah, he told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so silly. That's really good. And some people are like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, it's a joke. This is how, like, I, like are you, yeah. you have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he'll come and he'll do this or whatever. And I'll look at him and I'll do yeah. this. <laughs> Uh, he's like, he's like, I'm like, he's like, no. That's so good. That's funny. He, he hosts a late show, and we all get to be degenerate. That's the late so show. funny. It's fun. Uh. All right. What do I want to talk about? I want to talk about a couple of things, man. But I, uh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh. When we were talking on Sunday, you said something very interesting because you you've been taking care of your health. It shows. You're getting leaner. Mm -hmm. You're getting stronger. You told me it's been making you more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. How is that affecting you? Uh. Like just giving me way more Ima energy. Imagine Joel is watching, so you can be funny. <laughs> so it's uh, it'd be giving me a lot more energy. Yeah, I got a lot of energy. Um, I'm way less. I'm way more calmer. Yeah. Because I th okay, there's two. There's different types of people. I think you're the kind of guy that needs to amp himself up, right? Because you're doing like pull ups and stuff before a show. Uh, I do it to burn the anxiety. Because uh, I carry anxiety in my shoulders, okay. so when I go on stage, I'm like this. Mm. But when I just burn my arms and shoulders, I'm like. Oh. Okay. My body just drops. I'm like, it burns the anxiety. Oh, interesting. Okay, because I'm I'm the kind of guy that's always like uh, up in my like crazy up, and then I'm always trying to get down to a normal level. Mm. So that's helping me. Like I'm always like create like just insane thoughts, like murder, uh, suicide, racism, uh, <laughs> racism, know, racism, whatever, racism. all this, and then. Then like uh, and then I slowly try to like I chill I meditate that's why I try to be so chill because like I'm so okay. so high up in my uh, every like whatever but this has helped me a lot I'm more calmer and I'm more but it's just making you more aggressive I'm very curious about that because it's true your body has more testosterone but you told me you want to do boxing yeah well it's it's also just I like using my body more mm -hmm. you know it makes me much more happy I like using my body and it feels good and aggressive yeah well it's more like yeah i feel aggressive like it's in the way i'm sometimes talk i feel more aggressive i don't know and i feel Good. it's probably reflects on the gym you know i think once you start hitting the bag mm -hmm. you'll feel oh my god it's gonna take you to it's gonna be, I, I can't wait to meet yeah post boxing gabriel just hitting the bag for 10 Ooh. minutes oh you're gonna feel great yeah I, do you find yourself more sexy like are you more like who does have more sex? yeah claire was looking at me and she's like mm -hmm. i was like just clear feel my arm Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What are you, Sid? This is insane. Oh, wow. Look at that huge tricep. Holy oh. macaroni. Oh, that's all I can do, though. Damn. Yeah, no, I've been working on uh, it. Eh, no. <laughs> yeah, but you got big arms naturally, though. No, no I don't. I do chin ups and stuff, too. Oh, think. okay. My biggest fear in life, my biggest fear, the thing I'm like, I'm never allowing this to happen to me. I used to have a teacher when I was a professor when I was at university, and he was like really, really fat. Oh. And he had the skinniest arms. Mm -hmm. Oh, like the skinniest! Like Paul Giamatti, sort of, kind of looking dude. Because he has, he's like, I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. Just the sk like little twigs of arms and a big belly. Oh. And I'm like, oh my god, this is that's sad. That ah, oh, super smart guy. Yeah. Super smart uh -huh. guy. What I came off of you? Is that an eye? Like a I Like a, a contact lens? What was? <laughs> no, it's not. It's oh, uh, oh, oh. my 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 uh, my my sofa that's <laughs> dying. But yeah, that was my biggest. I'm like, oh my god, just fat with skinny arms. I'm like, I never want to look like that ever, mm -hmm. ever, 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 ever. Mm. Just no. Yeah, it is sad. Nothing. It's no gross. strength ever. El gross. I saw. Yeah. I saw him when I went to Israel. It has nothing to do with Israel, but I went to a restaurant. And he was in Israel. And there, no, and there was a guy there uh -oh. who had the exact same body, just fat, <laughs> with skinny arms. I'm like, do one push up a day just yeah. to remind yourself that you could. Oh, that's my nightmare. That's my physical nightmare. What's yeah. your physical nightmare? Uh, wheelchair or something. Oh, or. okay. <laughs> <laughs> wheelchair, like just feeling weak. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm. I'm yeah, you'd have big arms because you're. Yeah, strong. I know. It's not bad. Or maybe like a degenerate disease or something. Uh. Dege not degenerate. Degenerative disease. That would be that would be really bad. Like Huntington's disease or something. Yeah, that would be quite a nice. That would yeah. be horror. Or ALS or, or MS. Yeah. Okay, that's worse. That'd be like oh. MS, apparently you could live okay with it if you have the medication. Have you been to Miami? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, when I was as, younger. As, as, no, but as no, a young man. No, never, no. It's party city, man. Yeah. It's party city. Yeah. Hot people. Huh. It's like it's like being, you know, when you're at the gym and there's hot people? Yeah. It's like the gym, but outside. Damn. Hot, sexy bodies everywhere. Drinks, fun, the sun, hot Cuban That's music, cool. partying. Crazy that, like, there's so a party. Many. 
in like almost every state. Like every state is known. Like yeah. there's a city. Like let's say if you go like Miami, Florida. If you go to like um, Vegas. Yeah, Vegas in Nevada. If you go uh, like what's it called? Um, uh, Atlantic City. Yeah, Atlantic City in New Jersey, right? Or uh, what the hell? I'm, I'm I'm really like losing my mind here. Or like New York City in New York State, right? Or yeah. like uh, Montreal here. But it, I guess is Montreal it? is a po- yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah. dude when you travel anywhere outside of Montreal you're mm-hmm. like that's why people call Montreal yeah. the party city it's okay. the Vegas of the north you but know? then that's the like sex industry but that's and the party all industry. the whole country though what the whole mean? country has one party city no we they also have Toronto is a big party city not as much as Montreal uh-huh. but Montreal is number one because yeah. we have great strip clubs uh-huh. it's a sex uh, sex city I feel like I don't take advantage of the strip clubs. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> but it's because uh, you live here. It's yeah, not the same. it's like people who live like in Amsterdam. Like, oh, we don't do mushrooms yeah. every day. Yeah, or like people live in Vegas. We don't go to the yeah, strip. Yeah. They're like, this is no, they don't go gambling. Well, That's guys, it. yeah, That's subscribe to the podcast. Yeah, thank you for listening. This one's yeah. better. Yeah, I enjoyed this one way more than the one we did. What last was week? reviews of the last one from Eugene? He's, He's like, Amr, like, you were right. I think I was just depressed and it felt it felt. <gasps> but now we have we 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 educational purposes. Education. We're talking about the truth, the truth. about uh, Rockstar releasing Rockstar. this star. Oh, uh, this this conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, 100% man. It's not. It's a conspiracy. They know what they were Nobody doing. Nobody cares. Your mom doesn't care. And like, neither do I. Because <laughs> I never played this game. Because that's why I'm able to give you the truth. Thank you guys for listening to the truth with oh. Gabriel and Amer. Okay, I'll, I'll make a post about it on Reddit <laughs> and be like and see what people's opinions are. This opinion is based purely on the words he said. I'm not paying attention to anything happening. But the second the second I hear it was leaked, I know it's fake. Oh. It's, uh, 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 because the whole game wasn't peaked, at least. What's it called? It was a lot. A lot of the game was leaked. Uh, like for screenshots, like video. Screen, yeah, but it's not, you can't play the game. No. Was that? But only all oh, the trailer and images. <laughs> You're you you're, you're old, too young. You can't leak. You don't old see game. it, dude. It's like leaking f- a hundred. Oh jeez. If uh, I was, if I was the owner of Rockstar, yeah. That's what I'm like. Okay, I want the best game. I want the best marketing. I want the best everything. So that's what you do. Yeah. And, and this is now is gonna sell so much. He's gonna make bank. This is not. You don't know. <laughs> Rockstar is not. They don't need any of this. They 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 release a game every decade, and yeah. it makes money for like forever. Exactly. Without, they don't need a leak. Well, it's like saying, but, uh, but Gabe, you don't understand. Again, y- there's something you don't seem to understand. When you aim for perfection, why not aim for perfection in every aspect I of know. the industry? You can't just make I make a perfect game, but I don't care about marketing. I don't care about this or that. No, yeah. I'm gonna make a perfect game. If you have a good CEO, he's like, I'm gonna make a perfect game, and apparently they do. They make quality games, right? That's why they're so popular. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a highly addictive quality game. Mm-hmm. Why not the guy's like, okay, let me hire a VP of marketing who is as passionate about marketing as I am about making games. Yeah. And the guy's like, the best way. It it has to be guerrilla marketing. It has to be like, okay. oh no, it's something got leaked, and then beep, 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 beep. The, uh, with most ca- most cases, I would agree. I just don't. I don't even see like there's no purpose, and then it's so uninteresting. It's like saying, what's the most popular thing on the planet right now, other other than video games? Like the Middle what? East. No. They have to try to beat the Middle East. No, 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 no. no. Dead uh, children like in, in, in real life versus dead children on a game. Which one would sell oh, more? Gee. That's what they're doing. It's like uh, we have to beat that. It's 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 because it's hard. I don't think anything has been this hyped ever in the history of like. That's uh, a fantastic. So more than uh, the second album or the third album of Dr. Dre. You see, that's my world. I come from a different I world. No I idea. listen to black music. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Dr. Dre released like his third album or his second album. But, but wait, was, like, oh was that recently or a long time ago? A couple, a couple of years ago. Oh. And it didn't get as much attention. But if it was leaked, if like one song was leaked, <laughs> you see, Dr. Dre. See, that like, would do it because that he. Why? Because they're black? No. Racist. It's because he's not as popular as Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Well, in the in the, the music industry is different. Yeah. I'm just saying it's a different yeah. industry. Yeah, yeah. No, but you're saying like they cannot. They why would they do? They don't need to do this. Yeah, they but don't. what I'm trying to tell you is that you know, have you ever seen a guy who had like an eight pack? Yeah, who has huge shoulders, a huge arms, just perfect physique, and you talk to him and he he has a plan on how to get bigger. Okay. And you're like, what? You don't need to get. You just keep doing yeah. what you're doing. And he's like, what? No, I want to get bigger. So. The same thing. How can they get bigger? They can't make even like even if they make a better game. Everything needs to get bigger yeah. and better. 
He's there, so they're just getting better. And if I'm true, which I'm, uh, if I'm saying the truth, and I think I am, okay, congratulations, well, I'm Rockstar. I'm this right now because <laughs> I don't, I don't, under, I don't get it. Like, what is this? The Patreon p- p- part of the podcast? You said it was leaked. Leak uh, on purpose. Of course, what, 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 he's googling if it was on purpose. I'm bringing you original content here. You think it's, you're gonna find it anywhere? Okay. You think you're gonna, <gasps> you're waiting for someone to agree with me? That's how little you think of me? It's of not my that. huge genius ideas? Okay, Grand Theft Auto se- leaks may have just come from a rock star employee's son. Yeah, oops. <laughs> Oop, the son. Oh, look, there's articles. <laughs> there's articles being All right. written on this. Now you believe fine, me? No, fine, it was on purpose. Yeah. I don't give a it was the so It's so unnecessary. It's like saying God leaked yeah. his son or something. Well, I kind of think... He's like, here's my son, but guess what? It's also me. <laughs> oh, oh. He's Jesus. He's my son, but also me. <laughs> he leaked himself through his son. It's been going on for 2,000 years. I don't... I don't Sp- especially it's the son who released GTA, and apparently you're going to find out it wasn't the son. It was me. It was Mr. Oh, Rockstar. That's funny. That's hilarious. Uh, anyway, well, it was a good podcast. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys. I love you, Eugene. Bye, guys. Bye.